guys welcome back to my channel so you guys i'm back with another review on a skincare products the rdl whitening hand and body lotion the vitamin e so you guys before we start before i start going into details if you are my returning subscriber thank you so very much for coming back and if this is your first time on this space thank you so much i appreciate welcome welcome so you guys have a seat just grab a seat so i can tell you guys why we're here so before i say my own part before i say my experience with this lotion i just want to read out what the manufacturers wrote on the lotion so you guys they said that the rdl whitening hand and body lotion with vitamin e moisturizes and softens the skin and does not leave the skin feeling sticky it is enriched with papaya extract and whitening extract that helps brighten the skin <sighs> so i'm done i'm done saying what they wrote on the lotion so for my own part what I have to say about this lotion is, is that firstly, it is watery. The consistency is too watery for my liking. I have this um, hatred for, for watery lotions. I don't like watery lotions at all. So but when I went to get this lotion, even the, the person that recommended this lotion for me told me, that the lotion is watery but i now said okay if the lotion is watery but it's giving me you know it's giving my skin what i want i can actually deal with the you know watery stuff but then i got to it and you guys i've used it not like not like i have not used it before but some people will say i should use it till it's finished see I've used up to, I've used more than half of this of this lotion. So what what do I need to see that I am not I'm not yet seeing? So this lotion is not bad. Don't get me wrong because maybe my expression and everything you might say that oh I think the lotion is not good. The lotion I hate watery lotion. So the lotion is watery. That is number one. Number two. It is not moisturizing. They said it's moisturizing. I don't know if it is from my skin because I have a very, very dry skin. I have an extremely dry skin. So I don't know if it's because of my skin type that it did not moisturize me at all. It did not moisturize my skin at all. It didn't do any form of moisturizing on my skin. I'll just use the cream and the lotion and my legs, my hands will still feel like I didn't do anything. So you guys, it did not moisturize my skin. It is not moisturizing at all. And then, if you if you if you read or hear when they are mentioning um whiteness, you guys, I didn't get this cream because of what they wrote on it. Someone told me, a friend of mine told me, not a friend of mine though, someone I met on Facebook told me that lotion she she's been using it and it's nice it doesn't whiten she told me that the, the lotion doesn't whiten but me i don't like whitening lotions but i like lotions that will at least brighten up my skin so the girl said that the lotion is um good that was what she said i don't know how many bottles she has used but she told me that the lotion is nice so the the lady told me that the lotion is very nice it's okay and it's not whitening and all of that it will not darken the skin if i want to get a lotion that's when i ask you i hope it's not a whitening lotion if you say no i'll say okay i hope it does not darken the skin if you say no i'll say nice then green vents and all of that stuff that's what i look out for then i look at the indigent and know if it's going to you know be harsh on my skin or not so 
really good decision. I used it for one week. I didn't see anything. Two weeks, nothing. I kind of think that my complexion said, you know, dimming, like it said getting dark in a way. <laughs> So, but I, because of what the, the lady told me, she said it does not darken, it does not whiten. I decided to still, you know, continue with the lotion until I use it till this point. It doesn't whiten, it doesn't darken. That was what they told me. But at some point, I noticed that my, my skin complexion said dimming. Because the fact that it was not moisturizing my skin. So, why? Why would I use it? I don't. The hair out of this cream. I dumped it. I'm no longer using it. And then, one month after I stopped using this lotion, the lady that introduced me to the lotion started me up on Facebook. And she said, Sister, are you still using that lotion? I said, No, I've stopped. She now said, But why? I said, Number one, the lotion is watery. Number two, I was not seeing any positive effects on my skin. Skin differs. It might not do any harm to you, but it, it, it didn't work for me. This lotion did not work for me. It's not as if maybe it gave me skin reactions or anything. It was just there. So when I used it for like over two weeks, I started noticing that my skin complexion started getting dark. That's my own experience. I don't know who has experience. And skin be fast, just like I said. Maybe it's brightening up some some people's some person's skin. For my own case, it dimmed my complexion. So you might just want to still try it out. I'm not saying you shouldn't try it out. I'm saying for myself, it didn't work for me. So maybe it would work for you. And the lotion is not even, even expensive, just three thousand nine hundred naira. That was what I got it for. So. As I was saying, the lady chatted me up and she was like, are you still using the lotion? I said, no. I said, why? I said, nothing really, just that the lotion, number one thing is that the lotion is watery. I hate watery lotions. Then number two, it was not doing anything. I didn't notice any good, you know, effect on my skin. That was why I told the lady. And then she said that she too, she has stopped. I said, why? She said that at the long run, she said noticing white patches on her legs so what what patches she said yes then i now called back my memory and i remember that there was a time i said not to see white patches on my on my legs and that was when i was using this lotion so but then i thought it was maybe i got a, a fake extract soap so i didn't really you know trace it down to this lotion so it was when the lady said it that I now said, oh, so it was this lotion that was giving me white patches on my leg. So you guys, you've had it. It gave me white patches, gave the lady that introduced me to it white patches. And it didn't do anything on my skin. I wouldn't really say it's that much of a bad lotion. Yeah. Although I think it's for people that are, that are dark. Because this lotion doesn't brighten the skin. It doesn't, maybe, because my sister that is dark, she has used this, there's this lotion she used in the past. The lotion was brightening up her skin. But when I used it, I started darkening me up. Like, I started noticing that I was getting dark. But my dark sister was brightening up. So, maybe the lotion is for people that are dark in complexion. I don't just know. So you guys, this is my honest review on this lotion. You can still try it out so you know. It's not a harsh cream, actually. It's not a harsh cream. It's not a cream that, a lotion that will give you, you know, green veins, dark knuckles, no. But I think it gives white patches for some skins. And then for some skins, it brightens, um, for some persons, it brightens their skin. For some persons, it darkens their skin because the lady that introduced me to it said it brightens 
it was brightening her skin before she stopped it it was brightening her skin not like whitening or lightening like she was not noticing brightness like her her skin was brightening up but in my own case i didn't notice even one shade of brightening so in the fast my work for you but it didn't work for me you guys so you guys thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel if you've not su subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and please turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on any of my reviews thank you so much guys see you on the next one bye <laughs>